Okay, good morning again everyone. This is Nick Petro from the National Weather Service in Raleigh with your weekly impact weather briefing for Central North Carolina. And this briefing covers the period today through Sunday through the 2nd of April. And jumping right into the uh, weather, we, um, uh, we're showing here the weather pattern for the course of the week. And basically, we're going to be watching a couple um, weather disturbances and associated cold fronts move across the area. In the upper left in the early week period, uh, you can see uh, a cold front that's basically uh, across the uh, Mississippi and Tennessee and Ohio valleys. Uh, that cold front uh, will swing eastward, move eastward, and cross our area uh, during the day later tomorrow. So look for um, the risk for showers and thunderstorms as we typically have ahead of these fronts. Um, look for that chance to increase later today and especially on Tuesday. And you know this time of year March, April, May, that's the traditional severe weather season. Um, so, you know, any thunderstorms this time of year uh, can bring with them the risk for, um, you know, isolated wind gusts, uh, damaging variety, um, large hail, um, and torrential downpours. So I think there, there will be a marginal risk for severe thunderstorms um, with this system on Tuesday. Um, and then as we head to the late week period, another weather disturbance will be moving uh, across the Ohio Valley, and it will move a cold or push a cold front across our area. Um, we're talking uh, Friday into early Saturday, so that'll bring another round of showers and thunderstorms on Friday. And again, we can never rule out the risk for severe thunderstorms. Uh, with this type of weather pattern and weather scenario. Uh, once that gets through here late in the week, uh, Friday night, that should set us up for some decent weather over this weekend. Now I will say behind uh, the cold front late Tuesday, uh, we will see a little bit of a cool down for the latter half of the week for, for the late Wednesday, Thursday, and perhaps even Friday time period. But I don't expect uh, temperatures to drop low enough to um, you know, cause any frost or freeze issues. So uh, I don't think we'll have to worry about that. But anyway, um, getting on to the, uh, the severe thunderstorm potential from the Storm Prediction Center, and you can see for today, we're highlighted in that light green, which means there's a chance for thunderstorms, but not necessarily severe. Uh, as you notice there for Tuesday, for tomorrow, you'll notice a darker shade of green, which means mar marginal uh, severe thunderstorm threat. Or another way of putting it, isolated severe thunderstorms are possible. So uh, that's the outlook for Tuesday. And you'll notice the storms will be gone by Wednesday. But if these graphics went out a little bit further in time, I bet you you'd see perhaps uh, there is a sort of a, a day four through eight. It doesn't show us right now in any risk for severe thunderstorms, but I, I bet you as we get a little closer to Friday, we might end up in a marginal scenario for Friday. But, uh, but anyway, there's plenty of time for that part of the forecast to be adjusted. But anyway, um, I think, you know, the main days we're going to be looking at for uh, impact weather will be uh, Tuesday and perhaps maybe again on Friday, but that's a little less certain at this point in time. In terms of rainfall amounts, um, you know, not a whole lot of rain today, but tomorrow we'll get into those showers and thunderstorms, maybe a quarter to a half inch, half inch if you're lucky. Um, Wednesday should be most should should be dry, and then the Thursday and Friday time frame you're looking at there in the lower left, most of that will occur. Most of that rain, I should say, would occur on Friday, and then the weekend should be dry. So, you know, not a not a lot of rain and not a drought, uh, not much of a drought relief, but uh, we'll take any rain we can get at this point in time, I suppose. Looking ahead to next week, uh, the the Climate Prediction Center suggests the temps will continue to run above normal. Um, next week with, um, you know, another series of cold fronts giving us more chances for rain. So they've got us uh, highlighted there above uh, odds favoring above normal precipitation. And that's again for next week, the following week. So when we wrap it all up for the summary highlights, um, you know, the, the, the chance for showers and thunderstorms are there today um, through Tuesday. And then that chance will return on Friday. So, you know, that, that points out that Wednesday and Thursday will be dry as well. Saturday and Sunday expected to be um, to be dry anyway. Um, but the uh, the risk for isolated thunder uh, severe thunderstorms will be mainly confined to Tuesday and then perhaps again on Friday. A little less certain for Friday, but uh, again we are in a marginal risk for severe thunderstorms on Tuesday. So keep that in mind. Uh, temps will cool down for the latter half of the week, but right now it looks like overnight lows will remain above freezing. And then just remember. Um, we're right in the middle of the traditional severe weather season, which is typically March, April, and May. And remember, severe thunderstorms typically include the risk for large hail, damaging wind gusts, torrential downpours, and in some cases, isolated tornadoes, although I don't think that'll be the case uh, tomorrow. But 
but I think it'll be more of a, you know, if there are any severe thunderstorms, more of the wind and hail type uh, scenario. And of course, any thunderstorm can bring frequent cloud to ground lightning. So I know there's a lot of springtime sports that are well underway right now. So remember, if you're outside, you've got any outdoor events going on during the afternoon or evening, and the, if, the moment you see, see, your, uh, see lightning or hear thunder, you're in range of being struck. So keep that in mind. That's a simple safety rule. You know, you don't need any fancy equipment. Just know if, uh, if you see the, the lightning or you hear the thunder, get in the car, you know, if you're out on the field somewhere. So, um, so anyway, or seek, any, uh, seek some other type of enclosed shelter inside of a building. So again, uh, with that uh, lightning risk with those storms tomorrow, and, and even perhaps even later today, isolated storms, and again on Friday. Those are the three days this week where there will be a, a, a decent chance for rain and thunderstorms. All right, so that sums up uh, this week's uh, weather. And again, just one more reminder, the Hurricane Awareness Tour coming to Raleigh-Durham International Airport this year, uh, Wednesday, May 10th, in conjunction with uh, Hurricane Preparedness Week, uh, we'll have an opportunity uh, to tour the Hurricane Hunter aircraft. It's a public event, it's a media event, and it's an event for some schools. Um, further details and complete details are found at the website listed there. Be sure to visit that. And again, we hope to see you at the Hurricane Awareness Tour. Thanks so much for uh, joining us for the weekly briefing.